Hello folks, so today I've got one of those videos that I've been sitting on for a while. I've been working out what I really want to say, how I want to say it, and uh, it's getting to that point now where cer certain videos get to where uh, I don't think that I'm ever going to have the full rounded idea of, of what I want to say in a video until I actually say it. So usually when I have a video or an idea like that, I usually just record what's on my mind and it usually tends to work out quite well. I always got to remember to myself that I don't have to say every single thing on any given topic and all that kind of stuff. And this is going to be one of those, you know, more conversational, more rambly videos. I don't know how long it's going to be. I've got a very limited idea of, of, of what I, I, I want to say. The main thing that I do want to say and that I do want to kind of mull over is why I'm not streaming on Twitch anymore. Um, because I'm not. I streamed, I think it was like last week and a couple of my friends showed up and we had a bit of a nice chat but in all honesty it was a chat that we would otherwise have just had in discord probably on voice call in a bit more of a natural way and uh it was and that was the first time i'd stream after on twitch for quite some time uh after after a long break and i think it's given me a lot of pause to thought a pause for thought in regards to what twitch is as a platform uh, a little bit about how Twitch is as a company with inside Amazon and all that kind of stuff, and why I want to stream, what I want to stream, how I want to make my content, all that kind of stuff. Because I've been making a lot of videos on my gaming channel, and I've been having a lot of fun doing that. Um, and honestly, I think the content on the gaming channel is better, and I like the idea of putting out videos... Um, probably more so than live streaming because it doesn't mean that people have to show up at any given time uh given my life and, and my work and all that kind of stuff coming down with a, like an iron schedule is kind of difficult because i'll often need to work uh unexpected evenings and, and things like that um so uh, to actually get a, 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 a schedule down for, for for streaming can be a bit tricky at times but also I don't really enjoy it as much as I used to. But one thing I did notice from coming back after my break, and it makes a lot of sense thinking about it, is that my audience kind of moved on. Um, they weren't waiting for me, uh, you know, uh, waiting for when I'll get back or, 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 you know, there was no sort of tri triumphant return or anything like that. It was a few people, mostly people who knew me on a, you know, a, a more friendlier level who then basically, you know, sort of came by for a bit of a chat and it was a very small stream. It was, you know, I think I'd probably rather enjoyed enjoyed playing the game on my own. And um and 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 what you know, like that makes a whole lot of sense. Like Twitch is one of those in the moment kind of things. If you've got a regular streaming slot every week or several times a week, or even for some people every day, then you know your audience. You know, it, it's there is a natural audience for that. For you know, every day you might clock in after work and watch a bit of Twitch. You might have a bit of Twitch on at work. You know, on on, on at work in the background or that kind of stuff. But Twitch, I I feel is one of those platforms where if you don't maintain it with a lot of time. You, you know, it's it's going to fade away for you and it's going to be difficult to, to return to. Whereas, whereas with YouTube, you can put out a video once every time you feel comfortable and by and large, it's fine. It does, the, the platform doesn't punish you for it. Now, throughout the, algor the YouTube algorithm's history, there have been times where it's expected you to upload more than others, but the algorithm changes so often, it's not worth second guessing it. And in all honesty, the, one of the reasons the algorithm changes so often is so that you can't second guess it. So one day it might be watch time that is the key metric. Next, it might be subscriptions or likes, or it might be uh, watch time as a percentage. It might be regularity of uploads. It could be any number of things, many of which we probably wouldn't even consider whatsoever, right? So, but with YouTube, I feel that if I put out a video and only like five or ten people watch it, that's that's fine. Like I enjoyed making the video. I like what I put up to get you know put up there, and you know it it doesn't bother me in the slightest how many views that a, a given video gets, especially like on my gaming channel as well. So, um, so so that's fine. Like the gaming channel is like it's a it's 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 something that I do because I enjoy it, not because I want to get subscribers or anything like that or even show off my mad skills because you know i don't really have them um so but but the thing is with twitch is if you're streaming to an audience of like one or two people it's not really that fun and that's kind of the thing like most twitch streamers will have built up an audience somewhere else and will bring them over to twitch 
and in many cases will rely on that initial place where they where they garner an audience there as well so if you you know and there are some twitch streamers that have made it but if you're going to start off on twitch you're going to have to sort of prepare to you know be performing for a audience of zero for quite some time i remember when i started off on the early days of twitch and i you know i could stream for like two or three hours and like no one or one or two people would watch and um if you know if you don't stream regularly that's you know the thing but but to me twitch kind of be you know it has this promise of authenticity because it's you know unfiltered uncut people in in front of cameras playing video games talking to people all that kind of stuff but at the same time it's probably more fake than a lot of other social media because you have to engage with it um especially if you're 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 aiming to take it seriously as a hobby if you stream once in the blue moon then that's kind of difficult because like there's not really much incentive for people to watch you but if you um stream regularly that means you're going to have to put on like a smiley face to uh when when you're not feeling it you're going to have to fake your personality so that people don't uh don't you know switch off and switch away and you have to stream when you don't want to and all that kind of stuff if i don't want to make a video i don't make a video and it's fine like it's just fine like no you know it's um and that's 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 the kind of thing another thing that i was thinking about and this is more broader when it comes to live streaming is how resource intensive it is uh, peertube uh, has recently rolled out live streaming and peertube like it, it, a peertube instance can like take um a, quite a hammering when it, if if they're uh, li- you know if, if people on it are live streaming uh which makes it sort of i believe an optional extra when it comes to hosting a peertube instance so don't worry about you know if you have to host a peertube instance i'm pretty sure you don't have to have the live streaming part of it um but yeah like it's it's one of those things that maybe because it's such a resource intensive uh thing to do uh especially like in the moment like when it comes to like you know whether or not you record streams or that kind of stuff that's a whole different side of things but uh yeah like it's it's one of those things that maybe it it, it keeps the big companies um relevant because they're something that, that they can offer that smaller companies will never you know or startups or market disruptors as the, as the term's been called might ever uh they, they might just um never stand a chance because they don't have the the resource to do it at, off the ground there are some smaller streaming sites like d live but uh to be honest i've never found that they've offered anything that um i guess twitch hasn't like i've i've multi-streamed which is basically where you stream out to youtube twitch and then other services as well um but for the most part it's the majority of people who who watch me on twitch which makes sense because twitch is the most well-known platform of of that type um but yeah uh so it it does seem to me like a little big businessy in that regard and that's more of a just a general feeling kind of thing it's not anything i can sort of nail down Uh, i may still stream to peertube but just not to twitch right and if i'm streaming to peertube it's because i kind of want to connect to the peertube audience a bit more um but one thing i also have noticed as well is uh you know the idea of keeping like live streams around which is like huge swathes uh, you know terabytes upon terabytes of like rather low quality content uh, i've got some um quite like long videos on my on my gaming channel uh some of which are live streams which i probably don't really want on there all things considered not that i don't you know not they're not fine but like i'd rather have content made for video presented in a video format uh video on demand live streams sometimes they work sometimes they don't with big streamers that i actually quite like uh there's no point in even watching them live if they don't particularly interact with their audience or if i don't intend on interacting with them because you know big audience right um then i might as well watch it on demand because it's as good as a video it's just a, it's just a raw video at that point and i don't mind those like i kind of like the raw videos but um but yeah uh there's a lot there's like huge swathes of like video on demand of like rather you know it's like it's kind of like low quality content which for in a lot of cases which is probably not worth the storage that it's on um but you know that's obviously a subjective opinion uh there as well uh a lot of it comes down to twitch as a company actually um a lot of people who hit the higher retrolons of twitch say that it's a really badly run company with really you know that they treat their talent really badly all that kind of stuff um and that is kind of off-putting even though i have no intention of of like doing well on twitch and in fact to be honest being like a well-known twitch streamer to me strikes me as much more of a curse than a blessing in other areas it's it's you know like like a little bit more uh there there are more benefits to it but like being a major twitch streamer it just seems to be an absolute nightmarish scenario when you look at the kind of shit that that twitch streamers sort of have to go through 
and also with Twitch streamers as well, is that their like their careers are a lot more shorter lived. Actually, your average Twitch streamer um, is only going to be around like for like a year or two years. Whereas you look at your like there are YouTubers. Um, my friend Steve actually cited the example CGP Grey on a video where we talked about this subject uh, over a game of Vermintide. It's a Warhammer game. It's really good. And he said that basically, you know, like he, he cited CGP Grey as someone that's made videos ten years ago that are still relevant and useful and interesting to watch today. You just don't get that on Twitch, right? Um, anyone on Twitch is not going to be like the slightest bit relevant or useful. Useful is not really the, the right word for it. Um, but like, you know, th they're not going to be relevant like in 10 years time. It just feels like a much more shorter lived platform. Uh, and it might just be that the media cycle is just speeding up and speeding up and speeding up, speeding up as time goes by. But And maybe it's just old man Chris talking here and that YouTube works at a pace that I'm more familiar at. Maybe YouTube is just the platform that I'm more familiar at. And of course, YouTube's not without its faults. But um, but it seems that like when you're balancing between YouTube and Twitch, the faults are just compounded, right? I think what's interesting about streaming on YouTube is that... Uh, you can stream once in a blue moon and because your videos are the primary focus of a channel then it doesn't matter that you only stream once in a blue moon with twitch if you don't stream for a length of time you know like your audience moves elsewhere i don't even know if it's a problem with the platform whether or not it's just the way things are which is fine like it's it makes all the sense in the world and probably should happen that if i'm not around on twitch people find someone else people find someone that is there um but uh, but yeah, on YouTube, if I stream once a month, stream once a year, whatever. Like it, it 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 YouTube doesn't sort of you know YouTube seems to be more fine with that as well. So if I do stream, again, it's kind of likely that I'll probably be Twitch, PeerTube, Tw uh, no sorry, YouTube, PeerTube, uh, and I'll just cut out Twitch. Twitch just doesn't seem like a company that I kind of like at all, really. Uh, the way that they sort of uh, monetize it as well is not necessarily something that I like. Uh, I demonetize myself on Twitch the same time I demonetize myself on, on YouTube. But with Twitch, I think it's the character of it, it's the style of it that's very t televangely. It's very, you know, like, um, you know, it, it's that sort of encouraging people to just basically just to hand over uh, the uh, Twitch subs and all that kind of stuff. And Twitch subs, $5 a month, Mm, that's valuing Twitch streamers a little bit highly, if you ask me. Certainly valuing me a little bit highly. I don't expect anyone amongst you to to ever sort of donate five dollars a month to what I'm doing here. That's why I quite like Libra Pay. Actually, it allows people just to put like a nominal nominal donation of like one one penny, one cent a, a week, and that's great. You know, like do you know what I mean? Like it's it's uh, you know it, it it works out well enough, really. I like the platforms that encourage. Like a lot of people to to like donate a little bit, and you know I can't stand you know can't stand paywalls and things like that. And there are even paywalls implemented in in Twitch. Now that's not to say YouTube doesn't have a lot of these. YouTube have have their membership programs. YouTube YouTube have their uh, subscriber only uh, chat, I think, and all that kind of stuff. So YouTube is definitely not free from it. But I think a lot of it is in terms of the culture, the expectations, um, and I think with 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 YouTube. It just feels like the expectations are a lot more looser. YouTube and Google seem like a company that they're so big, they're so all over the, you know, like they're so um, monopolistic, gigantic, I guess, that they do give us content creators more freedom than some than a company like Twitch, which do seem to be a bit more nickel and dimey. And again, that's just the feel I get. And that's just what it's, it, you know, it's not necessarily objective measures to which I'm talking about here. It's It's just kind of like, you know kind of how it makes me feel you know what i mean um and if i you know and and if i do enjoy youtube just in general as a platform uh more than twitch then you know that's that's just my opinion like there are a small handful of twitch streamers that i watch but most of the twitch streamers that i watch are my friends and um i you know hang out with my friends quite a lot uh, on saturdays I, I hang out with my friend jenny on her stream on her twitch stream and um yeah like it's it's a whole load of fun um, but uh, I think doing it for myself now is, is in the past. So I just thought I might share some thoughts on that, um, in, uh, in this video. Um, I know it's a bit rambly and, um, but all in all, I, you know, like if I do stream on YouTube, I don't expect there'll be, uh, um, any kind of an audience for it, if I'm honest, but if you are interested in the slightest in, um, in video games go and check over my uh, check out my gaming channel i'll make sure it's linked um, if it's not it'll be linked on my uh, youtube channel page um, and i have considered doing a little bit of a non-game stream on this channel on, on the main channel because um, i did 
so with my friend Drew, who I'm sure some of you know, uh, at the beginning of the year, and that was actually kind of fun just to have a chat and not really, you know, play games or anything like that. Um, so there may, you know, it's not like I'm necessarily completely giving up live streaming, but making it like a regular uh, thing that I do is is much less likely now, I think. Um, and certainly not on Twitch. I think Twitch is 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 behind me now. Uh, Steve says it's a young man's game. Kind of feels a little bit like it. Maybe I'm just being a dinosaur. Maybe I'm just comfortable here on YouTube and this is just where I like to be. He really, who knows? Um, yeah, YouTube has its problems, but uh, but in all honesty, I think a lot of content creators kind of overblow them. Uh, a lot of people, you know, like put a, a great deal of emphasis on the monetization of YouTube channels. And I think that, to be honest, YouTube's at its best when it's not uh, monetized in that way, when we can just make videos just as we are. And it's a hobby and it doesn't have to be a job. I think in many cases, as in terms of a personal drive and personal ambition, like when you attach money to it in the way that YouTube monetization does, it makes it less fun. And I think it gives a less healthy attitude towards making videos about what you want to make videos about. You sort of then have this impulse to follow trends. You have this impulse to uh, to, to keep up with the industry news and all that kind of stuff. And, and in many cases, make videos about things that get views rather than make videos about things you, you just like talking about. Um, for example, with Gemini, like I, I wouldn't be talking, you know, like if I was governed by views and money and all that kind of stuff. I mean, Gemini, Ge Gemini is like anti-monetization. It's anti-corporate. It's it's a rebellion against all that kind of stuff. And that just wouldn't be you know profitable to talk about. But I want to talk about it. It's something that's important to me. It's something that's meaningful and valuable and, and does sort of improve my life in in a way that i uh want to talk about with other people so you know uh i'm gonna i'm gonna stick doing what, what i like to hell with the money you know like you know you guys can find out how to support me if you if you particularly want to go out of your way to do it but at the end of the day uh i do what i do here because it's it's what i want to do it's fun i feel like i'm engaging in part of a community that i really like i think twitch at its core can be pretty toxic if i'm honest and i think youtube is i mean youtube is not it's so big that you can't even specify it as one thing but i like what i've got here on youtube i like you folks and um and i like the sort i like the freedom that, that that youtube offers um as oppressive as we often accuse the algorithm of being um uh it, it just feels nice to be able to do what I want to do on YouTube and not have to worry about necessarily, you know, the the frequency of uploading or the frequency of um of live streaming and all that kind of stuff. It just feels like there's a bit more freedom over here. Uh, and also, um, you know, you, you do kind of split your audience a little bit. Uh, you know, you're splitting people, there's people over here on Twitch, people over here on YouTube, all that kind of stuff. I don't like multi streaming. I don't think that works particularly well, uh, especially when it comes to YouTube and and Twitch as well. There's always like one platform that you focus on more than the other and the other it just becomes an afterthought and you might as well just focus on doing what you uh, what it is you want to do. Okay, so I think I am now uh, at the end of what it is that I want to say, but thank you folks very much for listening. If you do have thoughts, love to hear them down in the comments section below. Um, I'll be on the Fediverse as always. That's a social network that I actually, well, is the Fediverse a social network? It's kind of like a place or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm on that a lot. So my uh, details with that, you know what? Everything's on my website, chrisware.uk. And that's generally linked, if not in the description, it's on the channel page as well. And you'll get all my, uh, I knocked something there. Uh, you'll get all my social media uh, stuff from there, the stuff that I'm active on and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, thank you guys very much for uh, listening. Thank you for watching. I know that most of you just minimize this and get on with your lives when when one of these kind of videos come on. Uh, but yeah, I did want to kind of get that off, off, off my chest is that I don't like to, I don't like streaming on Twitch anymore. I don't think it, uh, uh, I don't think I enjoy it. I don't think it offers much value. And uh, I think that you have to put in just like a lot of time, a lot of work uh, for, for what is effectively not much value, I guess. So I'm just, you know, looking at it. And I think when it comes to, you know, value in versus value out, I think video, I think videos are the way to go i don't like this idea that many of you folks are excluded just because you're not there whenever the the mood takes me to to, to be there um so anyway but uh that's just a few thoughts of it and uh, i thought i'd share them with you thank you folks very much for joining me until next time i've been chris ware and you've been awesome toodaloo now